So up y'all, it's me, it's your boy Asmin Golden. Today we're gonna look at how to get the Ashes of Alar, this mount I'm riding right now. Probably one of the coolest mounts in the game. Uh, unfortunately, like a million people have it, so you might not be exactly the the most special snowflake, but uh, at the same time, you'll also look pretty nice. You've got those little, I don't know, little sparklers coming off of your ass, and you know, it looks pretty cool. I really like this mount. I don't really ever ride it, though. Uh, anyway, so it drops from Kael'thas in the Eye of Eternity. No, no. Uh, in Tempest Keep, or uh, also referred to as the Eye in Netherstorm. Uh, this is very easy to do, and it was soloable at 85, and it's also very soloable at level 90. And as I said before, this is like something that pretty much any level 90 character could do, but uh, you might have to have a little bit of finesse if you have like greens or something like that. And so anyway, uh, that's where it is on the map, and it's the large middle uh, floating area. Now one thing that's nice about this is that even though it is a 25-man raid instance and some of the trash might take a little bit of time, you don't actually have to kill any of the other bosses. Uh, you can, of course, kill the other bosses if you want the uh, the pets from them, or uh, there's a couple other things you can get from those bosses. But honestly, they're not uh, they're not required to kill Kalthos. And uh, as you can see, the uh, there's like a lar up there, and you would think that he drops the mount. Well, he does not drop the mount. Kalthos drops the mount that looks like the other boss. I don't know how that works, but I guess it would be kind of be a little bit too easy to get the ashes of war if it had just dropped from the from the first boss in the zone. But uh, I'll show you guys uh, war. This is a really cool instance. I remember the first time I did this instance. It was a lot of fun. There he is. That boss was a real pain in the ass too. I never I had it. I was like level 85 before I even figured out how the boss was supposed to work, and I killed him when I was 70. Anyway, uh, you just come right up here. It's it's not really. Honestly, like nothing in here is going to even give you the slightest amount of trouble if you're a level 90. Uh, you just use whatever AOE spell you have, and uh, yeah, you just pretty much cast that, and then they're going to die. I died. Don't worry about it. And as you can see here, they are all dead. Um, they drop some cool, uh, cool transmog gear. They also can drop. Uh, let me think. They they drop a lot of greens. I, th I heard that the greens actually got nerfed a day or two ago, and so I mean, don't quote me on that because I think it's like per instance. But if that is the case, then maybe not as much the greens. But I know that they do drop cloth and just some other things too. And uh, so this is the room where Kalthos is. Uh, honestly, like if I could go back in time, I would probably just have started the the fight while I did this. But basically, the fight is the fight kind of takes a while, just because of. Uh, just kind of takes a while honestly it's not even nothing really to it it just it just takes a while uh there's like four or five phases this is probably like honestly in my opinion probably the coolest the coolest fight in all of burning crusade and probably one of the coolest fights in the entire game because of just how well done it is i mean this is obviously like i mean the amount of work that they put into this fight is just like if it, it like puts everything else to shame, honestly, like even current fights, it's just absolutely amazing. And uh, especially whenever you think of the uh, the fact that they did this in 2007 without any, uh, you know, without the same resources that uh, Blizzard has now. Uh, the first phase, as you can see here, uh, he summons each of these, uh, what are they called, advisors to fight you. Uh, Lord, um, the warrior, basically it's just a high damage melee. And by high damage, I mean he hits you for 2,000. Uh, the guy with the shield, uh, basically he... Um, I'll explain them in a second. Uh, as soon as you kill all four of them, uh, these magical weapons spawn. And what's really, really cool about this fight is you're actually able to loot these magical weapons. And they're all legendary items. Now, you can't take them out of the instance or anything like that. But it's pretty cool to have, you know, like some kind of... Uh, weapon equipped and also they grant you special abilities but honestly like the downgrade from the DPS is uh, too much to actually even really warrant using them. Now uh, the guy with the shield, basically the shield and the uh, mace, uh, he fears you and uh, that's pretty much all he does. Uh, Capernian, the mage, she will uh, conflagrate you and so that will disorient you for 10 seconds and Thelonicus, I think that's his name, the uh, Master Engineer, the guy with the Tier 4 Hunter gear. Uh, he'll do a bomb, he'll throw a bomb on you, but you just run in circles and you never take damage from that. 
and um, he also puts the sync on remote toy, which is, um, in my opinion, the most annoying debuff in the game. Uh, basically, at some point after you kill the weapons, he'll re uh, respawn all of the advisors, and they'll have twice as much health. Now, here is the most annoying part of the fight, because basically you're going to get spam CC'd uh, by three of these mobs, and uh, the uh, the melee guy doesn't really do anything. Honestly, I think he does a knockback. And so uh, if you have a pet class, uh, having a pet's really helpful here, but you want to uh, despawn or uh, dismiss your pet before you fight, uh, what's his name, uh, Kale Thos, because sometimes he'll mind control you, and if there, he has two targets on his aggro table, he will mind control you even though uh, you, what's it called? Even though you're by yourself, he'll count the pet as a second player, and he'll mind control you, and then the fight will reset, and then you'll have wasted some time. And so basically I dismiss my pet, and um, then you have to get him to 50% health, and uh, then he'll just die. If you don't kill him too, if you kill him very slowly, he'll cast a Pyroblast, which does 50,000 damage to you. And so again, it's not a uh, it's not a game changer, but uh, again, probably if you can't do that much DPS, you're either a healer, and it doesn't matter, you just heal the damage, or you're really terrible, and it's probably going to kill you anyway. Uh, honestly, this fight's like really easy to do. There's not really a whole lot of talking. As soon as he hits 50%, as you see, he goes up in the air and he like goes into his like super phase, and uh, then he'll come back down and you just finish him off uh, to 50%. Ashes War I think has like a two to three percent chance to drop rate, and so uh, it's a little bit better than a lot of other raid mounts, and so you've got a good chance of doing this. It's a uh, once every week reset, and uh, so that's honestly pretty much it. So you do it with your alts, what I'm saying, and. Uh, do a survey week and you get them out. So thanks for watching and like, comment, subscribe.